Ronald McDonald was always a bit off. No one really knew what to make of him. Everyone just stayed away. He lived alone in a small ramshackle house on the edge of town and rarely ever left. The few times anyone ever saw him, he was always muttering to himself and mumbling incoherently. No one knew what he did with his time, so it was a surprise when he started his own fast food restaurant chain. The restaurant became quite popular, even though everyone thought Ronald was a bit odd. But no one suspected that he was making hamburger patties out of children. He would lure orphans and poor kids into the play areas of his restaurants with the promise of a fun time. But once they were in, he would snatch them up and hide them in a hole under the ball pit. Then at night, the screams of children echoed through the closed restaurant as Ronald McDonald forced them into the meat grinder. Their cries of pain and terror filled the air as, without mercy, he ground them up into hamburger patties. The smell of their blood and guts was nauseating, but Ronald didn't care. He was only concerned with making the perfect product for his restaurant chain. He would do whatever it took to make sure his customers were satisfied, because that's what got him off. Ronald McDonald believed that torturing children before turning them into hamburger patties made his hamburgers tastier, that the children's fear and pain would add to the flavor of the meat. He would start by waterboarding them, making them think they're going to drown. Then he'd pull out their fingernails one by one. Finally, he would pull off strips of their skin, making them scream in agony before deep frying the strips and feeding them back to the children. Some longtime customers have confessed that the children's suffering did add a special flavor to the burgers, and some people are still nostalgic for the delicious way McDonald's hamburgers used to taste. His hamburgers were good because he used tortured children as a secret ingredient, said Justine, who was just a teenager during the early days of the restaurant. There was also a breakfast sausage. Ronald McDonald loved this special breakfast sausage, not only because it was juicy and flavorful, but also because he found it sexually arousing. The sausage was made from the breast of neglectful mothers. He loved the idea of grinding up their mammary glands as a way of punishing them for their crimes. If any of his employees ever caught on, he would kill them and add them to the freezer, waiting until he had enough of their anus meat to make a batch of McRibs. This went on for years, until one day Ronald got sloppy and snatched a boy who wasn't a poor orphan. A group of children were playing in a park. One of the fatter kids, who happened to love eating at McDonald's, wandered too close to the McDonald's restaurant. The next thing anyone knew, the fatty was missing. A search party was formed, but they couldn't find any trace of the chubby child. Later that night, someone from the search effort noticed that the McDonald's smelled worse than usual and that someone was cooking even though the restaurant was closed. Three men from the search party then stealthily broke into that McDonald's restaurant and peeked from behind the counter, only to see Ronald McDonald covered in blood. On the counter were the remains of the fat child's face, along with some other body parts that couldn't be identified. The three men then slowly moved in on Ronald McDonald, who was calmly making burger patties. One man tried to get the drop on Ronald from behind, but Ronald quickly spun around and punched him in the face. The second man tried to tackle Ronald, but Ronald ducked out of the way and grabbed a leg, flipping him onto his back. The third man charged at the deranged mascot, but Ronald grabbed him and pushed him into the deep fryer. The man screamed as he was dunked into the fryer, his skin blistering and peeling under the intense heat. He screamed in agony as he was fried alive. The smell of his burning flesh filled the air, and his screams echoed through the restaurant. The other two men charged at Ronald McDonald, but he was ready for them. Punches were flying, and Ronald laughed as he pummeled the two men. Ronald continued to advance on them. Suddenly, the police burst into the restaurant and tackled Ronald to the ground. He was put in handcuffs and led away. The three men were treated at a local hospital, and the man who was dunked in the deep fryer was left permanently blind and horribly disfigured. Ronald was charged with multiple counts of murder and eventually sentenced to life in prison. Since Ronald McDonald's arrest, 
The restaurant has successfully rebranded itself as a family-friendly establishment, no longer associated with child murder and cannibalism. The breakfast sausage, which is still popular, is now made with pork instead of human flesh. And the man who was blinded when his face was fried off gets one free item off the dollar menu per day for life. The restaurant chain is now more popular than ever. Families flock to the eateries for a chance to play in the ball pit and enjoy a meal without worrying about the dark history of the company.